Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Thursday, the 28th of December. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we're going to be singing our hymn throughout this service. Uh, the last verse is in French. So it's a French hymn, but it's been translated into English. The first three verses are in English, and it's O Come Divine Messiah. And we'll sing the first verse now. O oh, come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Dear Savior, haste, come, come to earth, dispel the night and show your face and bid us hail the dawn of grace. O come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits a day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. And our psalm is a portion of Psalm number 34, which we say together. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in Him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us sing the second verse of our hymn. O Christ, whom nations sigh for, whom priest and prophet long foretold, come break the captive's fetters, redeem the long lost fold. Dear Savior, haste, come, come to earth, dispel the night and show your face and bid us hail the dawn of grace. O oh, come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits a day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Our Gospel is Luke 2, 22 to 40, the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him up in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. 
Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage, and then as a widow to the age of eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we're still in the Christmas season, and this is one of the Christmas stories, the story of Simeon and Anna, both ancient people recognizing in Christ, recognizing Christ to be the one for whom they were waiting. They were devout people. They were waiting, uh, as it says in, in the scripture, for the consolation of Israel. They were waiting. They are waiting for the hope, the promise, uh, the promise that was promised by Isaiah so long ago. And they're always at the temple, very faithful, devout people, waiting. And uh, Simeon had been told somehow through vision or he knew that he wouldn't see death until he saw the Messiah. And he's able to recognize the Messiah. Same with um, Anna, able to recognize the Messiah. Most people didn't know, didn't notice. Um, but some people are, seem to be attuned to recognize the divine, the holy. Um, and I think that we as followers of Christ need to remember that this is a possibility for us to be able to recognize the, the work of the divine in our world. Um, we recognize in Jesus, although we've not seen Jesus in the flesh, we recognize in Jesus uh, that he is the Messiah, the Son of God, um, divine, born human. Um, but let us also recognize the divine breaking into our world uh, because of the work of Jesus. Um, Jesus breaks into the world as divine, into this world of flesh and physics. Um, Jesus breaks into it. Um, but Jesus continues to break into the world. Um, the divine, the Christ, breaks into our world. Um, let us pray for the eyes of Simeon and Anna to be able to recognize this and to give our lives for this. Jesus was born to be the Savior of the whole world. Um, and it was a dark time in uh, Simeon and Anna's, in Anna's time, and, and they speak about the light coming into the world. It's a dark time in our world too. Let us look to the light to see Christ working in the world and give our lives and our efforts to that. Let us sing the next verse of our hymn. You come in peace and meekness, and lowly will your cradle be. All clothed in human weakness, shall we your Godhead see. Dear Savior, haste, come, come to earth, dispel the night, and show your face, and bid us hail the dawn of grace. O come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. And now let us say together the words of the Hero Israel. Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers today, we will use the litany for the incarnation. Uh, and the response is, Lord, grant us peace. 
by the good news of our salvation brought to Mary by the angel, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the mystery of the Word made flesh, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the birth in time of the timeless Son of God, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the manifestation of the King of glory to the shepherds and magi, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the submission of the Maker of the world to Mary and Joseph of Nazareth, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the baptism of the Son of God in the river Jordan, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. Grant that the kingdoms of this world may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. And as we are praying for peace, we pray for a world so much of which does not know peace at this time. We pray for the land of Jesus' birth, for the people of Israel, the people of Gaza and the West Bank. We pray, O oh Lord, that people might recognize in each other that all are beloved of God, that every life has value. We pray that people might turn their hearts away from vengeance and striking back and greed and instead might recognize in each other brothers and sisters who need help. We pray for our part in the process of peace. May we ask our leaders to work towards peace. For we pray this in Jesus our Lord, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, those known to us and those unknown to us, but today in our cycle of prayer for the sick, we pray for Joanne Kenerva, Gail Miller, Natalia Stanzak, Brenda Hicks, Mary Plant, Vera, Jim Glass, Daryl Wilson, Al and Melba De Cruz, Bonnie Leonard, Linda and Karen Gordon, Carlos Nuri, Carol, Gail, Stephen and Diane Scruton, Shirley Cooper, Kathy Bosco. We also pray for Steve Martin for recovery from surgery to his hand and Jocelyn Desotel, recovery from shoulder and arm surgery. We pray, O oh Lord, that all the sick might know the healing touch of Jesus and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer. We pray for some more members of our parish community, and of course, if you're joining us from another community, please pray for members of your community as well. Today we pray for Harold and Ann Spence, for Karen Spence, for Eileen Spidel, for Bill and Shirley Stafford, for Daniel and Marion Standrit, for Mary Starodum, for Jacqueline Stevens, for Donald, Marjorie, Natoya, J. Rell, and Montek Stevenson, for Douglas, Tammy, James, and Mallory Stewart, and for Frida Sterl. We pray, O oh Lord, for each one. We pray for their health and happiness. We pray, O oh Lord, uh, that during this season of Christmas, they, their hearts might be filled with the joy of the Savior being born into our world. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might give of themselves uh, to working towards your kingdom, to promoting peace and justice, and that they might know they belong to a community of faith that cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we pray for a province and many dioceses of the Anglican Communion. We pray for the Episcopal Church in the, in the Philippines, for the Diocese of Birmingham and the Church of England, for the Diocese of Blackburn in the Church of England, for the Diocese of Bow in the Church of the Province of West Africa, for the Diocese of Boga in the Province of um, the Anglican Church of Congo, for the Diocese of Bolivia in the Anglican Church of South America, and the Diocese of Bondo in the Anglican Church of Kenya. We pray for their Archbishop, their clergy, their bishops, their people, we pray for them in the work of the kingdom that is theirs to do in their place. 
Give them the tools they need to carry out this work. Give them joy in knowing that they are serving you, O Lord. And give them encouragement knowing that the world is praying for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. We pray for a new brother, Brother Jamie Nelson. We give you thanks, O Lord, for him, for him offering his life. And uh, we pray for him as he is getting more used to the community. Give him joy in, in, in the community that, that is developed there. Give him the support he needs. Give him all the tools he needs as he learns. Um, give him gratitude for your grace that it might flow richly through him. And help him to know that he is supported in prayer not only by his brothers but by a wider community including us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray our night prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray our collect for this week. O oh God, you make us glad by the yearly festival of the birth of your only Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that we who joyfully receive him as our Redeemer may with sure confidence behold him when he comes to be our judge, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now let us sing the last verse of our hymn. Venez de vain, merci, nous rendre espoir et nous sauver. Vous êtes notre vie, venez, venez, venez. Ô Fils de Dieu, ne tardez pas, par votre corps, donnez la joie à notre monde en désarroi. Redites-nous encore de quel amour vous nous aimez. Tant d'hommes vous ignore. venez, venez, venez. Venez de vain merci, nous rendre espoir et nous sauver. Vous êtes notre vie, venez. Venez, venez. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, continuing Merry Christmas to you. Christmas is a season and we're still within the 12 days of Christmas, so... Merry Christmas. I hope that you had a, a wonderful Christmas celebration with family and friends. And uh, I hope that the peace of this season might uh, fill, fill your lives. Um, we, I, I want to just remind you that uh, we do ha now have the opportunity for uh, online prayer requests. So if you know someone who needs prayer, you might just hit the link that's on the, the blog page and uh, just fill in the little form or have them do it. Let them know. Um, because I just love to be able to have these evening prayers to be a place where we pray for the needs of the community as they, as they become clear to us. And if uh, someone needs prayer, 
we're experts at that. We know how to do that. So, um, and this little community of evening prayer, um, we're well able to pray for all the needs of our community. Um, we've had a busy season um, of Christmas, and I just want to thank everyone who had a part to play in our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day services. Uh, and I wish you uh, a blessed night's rest and all of God's blessings.